Well, how's it going guys? Uh, pretty short video today. I just wanted to go over the car. Um, as you can see, up here in Duchesne again. So this is the car that I bought. This is a 1987 Toyota Corolla. It's got a 1.6 four-cylinder carbureted with a five-speed. And... I mean, it's in pretty good shape. 150,000. I mean, actually, it's in really good shape. No whips in that seat over there. Like I said, 150,000 on the five-speed Toyota. So, I mean, I've seen these get at least 300, 400,000. So, it'll last me a while. She got some trim. Not wanting to stay down. I've done a few things to this car already, and I'm gonna kind of explain a little bit of that to you. So I'm paying four hundred dollars for this car. I'm getting it from my cousin. I'm doing payments, no job, you know. So I didn't have cash up front, but he knows me and he knows I'll pay him. So he offered or agreed to do payments on it. So when I first got this car, it didn't run. Well, it ran, but it had a charging issue. And I had to do a couple things on it here. I'll show you the engine. So, here it is. Had to do a few things. So there's an issue with the idle. It doesn't, the throttle will stick. So it's, sometimes it idles way high. I noticed that was unplugged when I first got it, that green plug. And I plugged it in and it started idling high. So every once in a while, once it idles real high, I can unplug that cord or that connector and it'll die down, but the throttle sticks. So that's part of the issue too. Got a battery out of the white Honda I had in it. Replaced the battery terminal on the positive side uh, they've wired in a switch for the cooling fan but I don't know why because the cooling fan right there works there's no electrical on that one so I'm just gonna eventually tap it into the factory harness to get rid of the switch but what I had to do with this car is we put a new alternator on it didn't work uh, it wouldn't charge I could get driving down the road and it would overheat, or not overheat, uh, lose all power and just shut off. Thought it was an alternator, put a new one in, didn't, didn't help. Found out. Under the hood, or under inside here, right there, is a fuse for the charge button. Or the charge button, the charge light, alternator light, battery light, whatever. It was blown. That caused it not to charge. Replaced that fuse. Now, every once in a while, the light stays on. Okay, you can see the light is actually still on. Very dim. I don't know. But that was it idling way high. Back here. Grab the throttle and push it back down. So I think it's just the spring on that throttle. But yeah, replace that fuse, replace the alternator, done a, you know, replace the battery and the battery terminal. There's a few minor things like that. And well, what could I say? I mean, I made it two hours up here to Duchesne, didn't I? You can see. Duchesne County Library. So my buddy lives, in, or my cousin, my buddy, whatever, he lives in Stansbury. So he lives out by me. Yes, this car made it clear to Duchesne.
It's got a lot of pressure. Oh uh, yeah. It runs good. It's a little dirty, does need to be cleaned up. But that's because I took it on a dirt road up toward the cabin yesterday and went down toward a campsite instead of going up to the cabin because I just was coming back from the cabin and got it stuck in some mud. So kinda fucked up my rear bumper. I gotta change or fix that. But yeah. Runs great. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. We'll get a full detailed video of interior and stuff. This is just a basic understanding of what I'm running. So have a good one, guys.